Today on What It Looks Like, we had a special request from a Jaden Lewis. Now, Jaden watched our Duncan Hines S'mores Kit video. So if you didn't get a chance to see that, I will post the link to it right here. But Jaden wants us to try Marie Callender's Shrimp Mac and Cheese Bowl. Now this sounds really interesting. I never had shrimp and macaroni and cheese before, so we're gonna try it out just for you, Jaden. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so today. And that way, when you subscribe to our channel and you go to the grocery store and you see something you like, see, let us know. We'll try to find it for you. And then we can tell you before you buy it, if it's gonna taste good, if it's gonna smell good, and if it's gonna look just like it looks on the box, right? Because the, the picture on the box always looks so good, don't it? But sometimes it doesn't always come out the way it looks on the box. So please subscribe today. If you had a special request like Jaden, we would do our best to find it at the grocery store and show you what it looks like. So with that being said, Jaden, this video is for you. Wanna go to the store, wanna get some. Wanna go to the store, wanna eat some. The food on the box look good, don't it? Should you buy it, should you wait, should you jump on it? You wanna know if it's good, does it taste right? Wanna try before you buy it, what it looks like? Hey, hey, what it looks like? Hey, hey, what it looks like? Wanna go to the store, wanna get some. Wanna go to the store, wanna eat some. What it looks like? Hey, hey, what it looks like? All right, let's get this box open. Check it out, that was super easy. Can't really make out from this picture. You do see a lot of sauce on there already, so hopefully that's a good sign of what's to come. Stir it up. Now already, I'm already kind of thinking I might be a little short on some shrimp. We're gonna see how it looks when it's done. Yeah, I can count like a handful. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Recover. And it says to cook on high a minute and a half to two minutes. So I think this time I'm just gonna cook it a minute and a half and not push it to two minutes since this is a high power microwave. But before we see what it looks like, let's check out the nutritional facts. Serving size, one meal. Calories, 390. Total fat, 18 grams. Saturated fat, 9 grams trans fat 0.5 grams not too happy about that cholesterol 90 milligrams sodium 870 milligrams total carbohydrates 44 grams dietary fiber 2 grams total sugars 3 grams protein 12 grams and now let's see what it looks like what it looks like is saucy and if you been watching my videos you know I love having pasta with a lot of sauce on it that way it's not dry uh, it definitely has more sauce in real life than what you see on the box on the box though look here they have it dripping over the edge of the bowl which is I guess that's a good sign they definitely did not disappoint when it comes to that you can see here that is full of sauce which is wonderful I love to see that uh, the shrimp is pink just like you see on the box right here so that looks good you also see the little flakes so probably parsley or, or something like that is all the way throughout the whole dish here so you can see that that's a really good representation too I have to say that they did a really good job with this particular meal it looks very very similar to the box uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed in the way it looks uh, I might be a little disappointed only because if you love shrimp I think you can see here I count one two three four five that's all the shrimp you're gonna get so if you're a big lover of shrimp uh, you may want to add some more to your dish otherwise on the box they show four so <laughs> they're not too far off in real life so don't expect a whole lot of shrimp if you order this or if you buy this particular meal 
but otherwise it definitely looks like the box they did a really good job with this presentation and everything so not disappointed at all Oh, it smells good. Oh yeah, definitely smell the macaroni and cheese. It says it has a, let me see on the box, it says it has a white wine and butter sauce. Uh, I, think I, can t I think I can smell the white wine and butter sauce. You see here it says white wine and butter sauce. Uh, it looks like white wine and butter. Well, I don't know if it looks like white wine, <laughs> but it definitely looks like a butter sauce. I can smell that one shrimp that's right in front of me here. Remember, only it only has five of them, so I think it smells good. It doesn't have a really strong scent, to be honest, um, but it, it smells okay. Yeah, it's nothing to write home about, but it smells okay. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> okay, it tastes good. The white wine butter sauce is kind of understated. It's not overwhelmingly like buttery or anything like that. The shrimp has a pretty good flavor to it. It's tender, it's not overcooked. I'm glad I did the minute and a half and not the two minutes. I think two minutes might have overcooked my shrimp. Okay, it's not bad, it's not bad. I think, I think this would be a decent meal if you wanted to have it for lunch one day. Um, you may definitely have to add some more shrimp to it if uh, <laughs> if you're a seafood lover like I am. But overall, it tastes pretty good. Let, let me try a bite just with the mac and cheese and the sauce by itself. No shrimp added to it. See what kind of flavor it has. Mmm. Now that is really good. You know what? It could use a, some uh, some salt and pepper, maybe. Well, maybe not salt. I don't. Usually these meals have a lot of sodium, so I probably wouldn't add any salt, but definitely some pepper. Some pepper would def would spice it up some, make it taste a little bit better, give it a little bit more flavor. Because it did without the shrimp, it did taste a little bit bland. So you have to do something for all because you only have. Again, and I hate to sound like a broken record, but you only have five shrimp in there. So you're going to be eating a lot of pasta just by itself. So you might as well add some pepper to it, add some maybe some cayenne pepper or something to kind of spice it up a little bit. That way you can really enjoy the dish. But the, the noodles are not mushy. They are, I would say they're almost al dente the way I like them. So they did a pretty good job on that. So Jaden Lewis, I'd like to thank you so much for your request of this meal. I can add this now to another one of my favorite meals to eat, especially if I'm looking for something quick. Uh, I may have to add some more shrimp to it though, Jaden, so just in case, but I think it was really good. I really appreciate the suggestion. If anyone else has anything that they want us to try for you before you buy it, you leave us a comment below, and if we can find it, we'll show you what it looks like. Welcome to the Will Awards, where the contestants will be judged on smell, taste, and of course, what it looks like. Each contestant must score at least 20 points. And let's go to the judges on the first category of smell. Seven. Next up is taste. Eight. And now for that all important category, what it looks like. Nine. so much for watching what it looks like we are dedicated to bringing you our honest opinion about the way it smells tastes and of course what it looks like 
So please like and subscribe today. Don't wait. Why would you wait? And if there is a food product you would like for us to try before you buy, please leave us a comment below. And if we can find it at our local grocery store, we will show you what it looks like. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. However, they may or may not have been harmed in the making of the contestant. But we had nothing to do with that. We promise, honestly, you can trust us. <laughs>